uh, strategy which Zerg's typically employ, uh, employ and uh, now he's going to pay the price because he isn't going to be able to take it out. And now he's finally got his uh, factory up and going for uh, starports, as indeed he needs to. But um, this is Mudang, and Mudang obviously a very well-rounded player. He's, he's, uh, he's good micro... Um, um, was, <laughs> uh, getting tongue-tied. Uh, Micromanagement, macro-management, obviously he's good at both of those things. Let's take a look at the top left. Three sucker colonies going down. Uh, we've got Lurkers heading around the map. He's, um, Anomi has really got this covered. He's got Lurkers at the top to prevent uh, any attack on the bottom, the top left. And he's also got some at his home. So Anomi has got a large army, but uh, sorry, Mudang's got a large army, but he's not going to be able to do too much about that. And Anomi are now heading out. He's got four Marines out in the field. Animatic. Uh, Zerkling's just running all over those Marines. Uh, he's got a few kills there, and he can easily retreat. So that's just a bit of a, an unfortunate uh, situation there for Mudang. Things aren't really going his way at this point, but uh, if anybody can pull this out of the bag, uh, I'm sure he can. Uh, no Marine's been produced at the four barracks, maybe he's uh, behind a supply depot or something, but uh, yeah. Gotta say that uh, I'm, I'm liking Anomia's position a lot more, and here comes Mudang, stepping up the Marines, going straight for those two, two Lurkers, those Lurkers are going to be easy meat for those Marines, just left out like that, uh, with, with a, good, a good player, always knows how to take advantage of, uh, of situations like that, and as you can see, the Lurkers have been stacked up the top left, uh, hive up already, defile the mound going down, so... Um, Mudan could be in some trouble here because Anomia, once Anomia gets those those defilers out with swarms, uh, he's really going to be able to get some um, some serious map control happening. I mean, he hasn't got map control at the moment. I have to give that to Mudang. Uh, but Mudang is just not in a position to threaten that third gas. And with so much gas coming in, it's just going to be defilers, and the defilers are going to be able to buy enough time. They should easily be enough to, to buy time for those ultralisks once uh, Anomia is ready to take them. Hmm, so uh, no drops or anything yet. I haven't really built up any tanks. I'm just a bit worried for Mudang's sake as to what he's going to be doing. Uh, he's, I mean, he's got a huge number of Marines and Medics there, but I mean, they're not going to be able to win the game for him. Looking back at his base, he's got another large group at home. He's got two tanks. Uh, I'm not too sure what else he's going to be doing, or what he has uh, up his sleeve. And uh, I'm going to leave it to Anomia to, to play the next, to make the next play here. It's about seven Lurkers moving in. Uh, Mudang's not going to be able to fall for this. Mudang sniping a couple of Lurkers moving up. <laughs> He's losing a lot of a lot of Marines here. Ouch, this could be bad. Mudang, Mudang's actually losing his entire force. Um, this is kind of sloppy, actually. If I were him, I would have stemmed and moved out of there ages ago. But ouch, Anomia just stomped over that army. So now... Now Mudang is just going to have to rely on his force that he's been macro at home, and that's obviously what he was doing. He was just making sure everything was going right in space. But uh, time is slipping away. Uh, the game is slipping away from Mudang. Time is definitely in Anomia's favor. He's got that third gas. He's got a strong number of units. He's been upgrading them, I assume. He's still got Mutalisks alive. He can do anything with that. I mean, he could make Guardians. And now um, Anomia has, uh, Mudang, by the way, has got his tech up. Um, he's got four tanks and a vessel, so... This uh, this is enough to make uh, a dedicated push out outwards. Ugh. But uh, by the time he gets over to Anomia's side of the map, Anomia is going to have defilers, uh, so that's going to be trouble. Looks like Mudang's putting down that that third command center, so he'll be able to take another base, setting his SUV onto the bottom right. So uh, Mudang at this point might want to take the option of just splitting the map in half and seeing if he can contend with the Zerg late game. And as you can see, Anomia is taking um, the 12 o'clock, so. With, with, with four gas geysers, that's going to be tough. And whoa, watch out for the scourges. Uh, this was just screaming away from those scourges, and that was a close call. Good uh, good reaction time there by uh, Mudang. And as you can see, the Vila just loading up on, on energy. The Vila's going to be able to put down a swarm, and those tanks are not going to be able to push their way across the map. But tanks, looks like they're going to siege up now, and uh, this looks bad. Uh, those lurkers are going to be uh, moving into position. Yeah, uh, normally those lurkers would be no trouble for that tank group, but with the swarms, another swarm coming down. Scourges going all over the vessels. Those tanks are going to have to step back. Ouch, losing all of those tanks. Another swarm going down. Nobody being really aggressive with these swarms, and uh, Mudang is just being forced back yet again. Uh, things really not going his way. Um, starting to look a little bit uh, more dire <laughs> right now. He's having to pull back. He's still got two tanks alive. He's built another vessel. But he's going to have to play it really safe with those vessels and uh, keep keep them going. Uh, Mead my time taking the bottom right. He really needs to take that if he wants to stay in the long game here. And, uh, and Anomia, I'm not sure where he's... Uh, he's got three more defilers. He's got more vessels. 
more uh, scourges rather is what, they, what I meant to say. I know uh, media technique in other vessels is upgrading mines, so not a bad choice. I think mines are an excellent choice against uh, Zerg users with Defilers and uh, and Lurkers. Uh, you definitely want to use some mines if you can afford them and if you have the multitasking to get them get them done while uh, macroing everything else up. So again, Defilers loading up and they're going to be able to press over even further across the map. Uh, and uh, it's going to be, it's, the ball is really in, in Murak's court, he's going to have to counter this somewhere or another. I'd, I'd, I'd be uh, hoping that he puts in some drops somewhere or something like that, or we'll get some really good irradiates off. But uh, Lurkers have unburrowed, looks like they're going to be able to, uh, uh, I'm not sure what they're going to do. <laughs> uh, swarms going down, uh, Scourge is being taken out, Marines being, <laughs> Marines being, uh, taken out another vessel, wow. Um, pull back the Marines, pull back the Marines. That could have been a lot worse. I was just struggling as to how to commentate that because, yeah, I just I wasn't too sure how, how that was going to go. Mudang put in a better effort than he did before. He managed to conserve a lot of his forces, but um, Anomia is slowly and surely creeping his way across the map and preventing the Zerg from taking out any expansions. But there appears to be an opening. Mudang's going for it. He's going to the 12 o'clock. Uh, there are no lurkers or anything in the way. Uh, these, um, yeah, he's, uh, Anomia has finally showed himself, showed himself a weakness in these uh, Marines to be able to capitalize on this. Heading straight up to the 12 o'clock, just blasting with machine gun fire everywhere. Uh, the lurkers are coming in from behind though, so Mudang really needs to take out the hatchery. I'm sure he's going to be able to do that. Yeah, yeah, plenty of Marines easily taking out the hatchery. Uh, and now it's just a matter of conserving as, as many Marines as you can, getting as many kills as you can. Taking out the Defiler, nice snipe there. Watch out for the, oh, oh. Vessel taken out by some Scourges sent. Marines taking out uh, roughly half of these scourges, which are putting in assassination attempts on the vessels, but yeah, okay, so at least he took out the hatchery. So Anomian does not have the 12 o'clock. He, uh, yeah, does not have the 12 o'clock, and bear in mind that uh, Mudang is caught up with Anomia in terms of expansions, but as you can see, there's the Ultralisk Cavern just starting on armor right now, uh, and Anomia is, is content to stay with that, is, is content to stay with his position and wait for wait for that armor, uh, so that, uh, that armor to complete. And of course Anomia retaking the 12 o'clock as he should. This uh, plays war two once that uh, that has happened. Alright, so Mudang has started to put down mines down the uh, the southern side of the map. Just on his side. That'll enable him to stop any uh, attacks going around the south while he uh, sets up some tank uh, tank walls during the middle middle side of the map on his side of the ridge, his side of the valley. And he should be able to take the 6 o'clock before long. Uh, not too many tanks though, I mean if this was Hydra or somebody, I mean you could see heaps of tanks, but uh, I guess uh, he's really wanting to focus on mines and macking up a lot of vessels. <laughs> nice, with the fire bats. The, um, these Zerglings look like they're trying something offensive here, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to succeed. A lot of, a lot of, wow, that single surge got radiated, oh my god, Scourge just got totally wiped out by that single radiate, just... Uh, all the, the, the damage on the nearby scourge is totally, totally wiped out. This is really good play here by Mudang. Taking out, taking out the, the, the Defiler and the, the, uh, the Irradiate from the Defiler actually took out that scourge as well. So double whammy. Uh, the Firebat's having a go at uh, burning some, some Lurker, but that's not going to happen. He should know that. Shame on you, Firebat, for trying that. Not going to happen. And uh, Ultralisk armor has been completed. He's going for a speed now. Uh, Mudang is really sticking to his side of the map, he's saying, right, I'm going to just bunker down, uh, not literally bunker down with actual bunkers, but I'm going to really uh, entrench myself in my side of the map. He's building more barracks, he's really going to go into the late game, he knows that he's lost his window of opportunity to really take out Zerg expansions, and Anomi has really got himself ready to put down any swarms, should he venture over to Anomi's side of the map, and he's really just going to play a long game. So it looks like we're going to be here for a, uh, for a, a long drawn out TVZ epic guys and I always love it when that happens unfortunately uh, Mudang didn't really show any great plays earlier on in the game but he has made up for that with some uh, some some good plays recently and he's managed to prevent himself from losing and Scourge is being eradicated right now, no losses from the uh, wow and those those vessels are poised to just knock out all of those ouch but a, def a play going down right over the top of the entire cloud and uh, I'm not sure why he didn't irradiate the other one only took out one of those defilers, and in the meantime, uh, more vessels being created. Oh, gosh, ultra ultralisks, finally. Looks like Anomia has really been macroing up those ultralisks, and once he's got a, um, a lot of them, it's going to be really dangerous. Mines or no mines, he's going to be able to charge across the map and inflict some serious damage there. Uh, these uh, <laughs> vessels coming in for another angle, the <laughs> Scourges haven't even spotted them. 
Uh, and this could be painful for... Whoa, lots of Scourges. Ouch. Oh my god, I'm not sure if he's going to avoid this. <laughs> Scourges crashing into the vessels. Not even getting a single radiate off. Ouch, that was devastating for Mutang. Ouch. Ah. <laughs> Man, he must be smarting from that. He must have lost so much gas from that. Vessels cost so much gas and he didn't get any radiates off. He could have just, just uh, blasted a radiates over all of those.